What's up guys, Manny here, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the J Center Convention Hall because I'm bringing my daughter with me to Otaku Fest. Anyway, let's go. J Center Mall is located right across Suzuki, the place where I work. guys you know I thought it would just include a you know quick video of our recent activity with my daughter and the wife you know so it's always a good thing you know to take the kids out uh, for something else you know something not motorcycle related you know, something to take their minds off school and uh, you get the idea if you're a parent right so anyway welcome to the third episode of fixing the CBX 750 and uh, if you saw the previous video uh, you saw there that um, it did not start, so yeah, which is a big bummer. And uh, upon further inspection of the starter motor, we found out that there's something wrong with the carbon brush. So I went out earlier to buy some. So anyway, I'll show you. So Gamai, the resident mechanic at Revolt Cycles, you know, found this. And this is like the carbon brushes for the starter motor. And it turns out that it's missing one spring and it's really worn out. So when you turn on the motorcycle, uh, electricity doesn't, you know, um, and push the starter button, it doesn't, you know, make contact with the thing that spins. So, uh, sad to say, uh, this is pretty hard to find, especially here in the Philippines because uh, uh, it is a CBX750. It's only sold in Japan and in Europe and uh, it's not sold locally here as you can tell already um, so um, I had to you know look for this earlier today and uh, I called three shops and none of them had this so the only solution that we have for this right now is well, these I bought two carbon brushes for a Honda XLR 200 and uh, the thing is this is uh, by the way this is a replacement unit for the Honda XLR 200 starter motor uh, it only has two carbon brushes so what we're gonna do since you know I bought two all right bought two over here so we're gonna take these brushes out and transplant them over here and we're gonna solder the wires and hopefully that will work um, yeah, so it's going to be, you know, some science and modification and uh, involved. So hopefully that will work. Uh, we'll see in the next part. Right. 2,000 years later. Come <laughs> on. A few moments later.
deg-degan deg-degan This is getting kind of frustrating. Uh, we just ordered a brand new battery and it turns out that the battery is dead. So I just called the supplier and uh, it's good that you know they responded and they're gonna replace it tomorrow, but I can't wait. Uh, there's something wrong with the battery. Um, honestly, you know, uh, when it arrived, you know, the, it, uh, Gamay told me that, uh, I wasn't here when it arrived actually. Um, when it arrived, you know, it was really like, you know, swelling was like expanding already I'll show you and it didn't have any charge so we left we charged this for a bit and then it's really like what uh, almost 8 30 and uh, he told me that we're gonna charge this for 15 minutes because earlier before this part there was signs of life and uh, we thought that there was really something wrong and it turns out that the previous mechanic who tried to fix this the mechanic there at Honda inverted the switches so this is already on the on the clear says they're off we're trying this at this position and it wouldn't you know start up but when we switch this on to this part there were signs of life so hopefully after the charge Pera, 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 pera,